Lord, 15 years ago, my healthy daughter, Sarah, suddenly died in the middle of the night. Went back to work the next week, and the company I worked for fired me. I, w I was lost. I figured I had these skills as a, um, as a business person. Uh, why not go as a volunteer to Africa? In a way, trying to give meaning to my uh, daughter's death. According to the World Health Organization, there's about 600 million people who are hearing impaired. Two thirds of them live in developing countries. Yet only 12% of hearing aids go to these countries. The problem with hearing aids is not only the cost of a hearing aid, but the price and accessibility of a hearing aid battery. Battery costs about a dollar and lasts about a week. One of the common features in developing countries is the sun is free. Why not use that energy to recharge a battery? So what we did is, uh, with our workers who are deaf, we designed the first rechargeable hearing aid battery uh, that you know costs the same as a regular battery, but lasts two to three years. We can make a hearing aid and sell it at a profit for under $100. And the average hearing aid in the United States, for example, is anywhere from $2,000 to $6,000. And they're buying from the same sources I do. You know, Carl Jung, uh, the great philosopher, once said, you want people to see their shadow and then realize the light is coming from them. And that's, you know, what I, what I do with our workers who are deaf around the world. Our project's all about opportunity, uh, about seeing, seeing your own shadow. Mm -hmm.